This is an experiment to see how quickly I can take apart and then put together my smartphone and still have it work. And the timer is going to start as soon as my phone vibrates as it's turning off. Uh, although you won't be able to hear that, I'm, I'm afraid, because I've had to take the sound out. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> You'll just have to believe me. Um, <laughs> sorry. That's the battery, the SIM card, and this is interesting. You can take off the display without the use of any tools whatsoever. Um, which is quite good because the screen is one of the most commonly broken parts, you know, when you drop your phone. Um, now I'd start taking off the modules, because this is a modular phone. Uh, this is the top module, and it's got the uh, proximity sensor, the earpiece speaker, the selfie camera, uh, and on the back there's the headphone jack. That's very useful, that, to have on a phone nowadays, isn't it? Um, the noise-cancelling microphone is also on that. Uh, this module is kind of obscured by uh, my hand at the moment, sorry, but that's the rear-facing camera. There's a possibility that there was talk about that being upgraded, um, like a new module, the same size being offered with like a better camera. Not so sure about that now, um, but that's one of the potential benefits of modular phones, because when new stuff comes out, you just buy the modules instead of spending money and wasting all the materials you need to make like a whole new phone. Uh, this is the bottom module. This has the microphone that you actually talk into. It's also got the micro um, USB port for charging and the vibration noiser as well on the back. You wouldn't be able to say that. Um, sorry. Um, and you briefly saw, after I took everything out, that was just the frame. That's got the aerial, it's got the CPU, all the memory, just all the basic stuff that you need to host like the operating system and um, all the basic functionality of the phone, basically. Um, it's also got all the ports for the modules, obviously. It's got the ports for the SIM cards and the micro SD cards for expandable storage. Um, although you might be wondering now, what's the point of having a modular phone? Um, and, well, first off, it's pretty awesome, I think, because <laughs> most phones are just like sealed units and you can't even take out the battery out of a lot of them now, which is kind of sad. Um, it encourages repairability, like if the part breaks you just replace the module yourself. Um, and also uh, it helps with recyclability because um, different modules will have different minerals in them and if you want to recycle, uh, get the most out of a certain mineral you might want to recycle it in a different way than a different module with different minerals in it. Uh, so that can, that's been shown to be quite useful. Um, and yeah, and there's, as I said before, the potential for upgrades um, and reducing wastes. Because if you want to, instead of buying like a whole new phone, you would just get like whatever module you wanted, whatever extra functionality you wanted. Um, so yeah, um, it's, it's a unique phone. It's one of a kind. It was designed from the inside out instead of to have like the best looks or whatever. It was designed for, for a purpose, like for for its ethics. Um, yeah, I mean, even this case, um, it's got the, um, it's got a rim around the edge so that if you drop it, it's meant to protect the screen, which uh, unfortunately didn't work in my case. I don't know if you can see the scratches and the cracks, but <laughs> that's the idea. Um, pretty good time, I think, for taking a phone apart and putting it back together, just over three minutes, 16. Uh, I just need to test to see if it works now. I don't know if you noticed, but on the back there's um, two SIM slots. Um, that's oh, I mean, apparently some people have a work phone and then a leisure phone, which I don't get. But it's meant to reduce wastage in that. You only need one phone now. Um, yeah, it took a while to get the network up, but um, yeah, you should see that it works. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed.